hello guys you're welcome to my kitchen it's nick spicy kitchen so on today's episode of nick spicy kitchen i'll be um walking you guys through how i made my combi sauce or some people can call it combi stew whichever way you guys feel like calling it so firstly i'll be walking you through all my ingredients i have my um onions here i have my um fish that's mackerel fish in sunflower oil i have my corned beef i have my prawn i have my um egg which i'll be slicing later and i have my pepper blended pepper so and i have my oil here sunflower oil and i have my salt maggi so firstly uh, i'm gonna heat my oil in a pot for a while then i'll go in with my onions so i'll leave that to fry for like few minutes before adding any other thing So guys, after that is um, fried for a while, I'm gonna go in now with my blended pepper, which is comprises of um, scotch bonnet, I have bell pepper, I have onions, I have plum tomato, and I have, um, I think tatashi or something like that. I think that's cayenne pepper or something like that, sorry. And so I'm gonna leave that to like, you know, cook for a while. So I'll be smashing my corned beef because I don't want to put my corned beef like that as the oil like that in the sauce but I have to smash it to get a very smooth consistency and that's what you see me doing. So I'm going to smash it properly so that I can have that smooth consistency before adding it to our sauce. So guys, I'll be going in now with my prawn. That's my roasted prawn. Reason being that um, I want it to soft. That's why I'm adding it now because it's hard to chew since it's roasted. You know, by the time it's cooked along with the sauce, it will give it a very soft, um, um, easy to chew. So now I'll be going in with my maggi. Um, after adding the maggi, I'm going to stir and leave for a while before adding the corn beef. I'll be right back. So I'll be going in now with my corned beef. So I'm going to put the corned beef in, stir it together. I'm going to add my fish as well. That's the mackerel fish in sunflower oil. So I'm going to stir it together and um, that's all for now. So after that, I'll have to taste it to know if the um, maggi is okay. So with the taste, uh, I can see that the maggi is fine. So I'm going in now with my salt to taste. So after adding my salt, I'm going to stir and cover it for a few minutes to cook. Then I'll be right back. So after cooking for a while, I can see it's done. So now I'll be going in with my crayfish. So I'm going to sprinkle my crayfish on it. You know, there's no food like that when it has to do with sauce or stew. If you don't have crayfish in it, it does it complete. 
<laughs> just kidding anyways that's my crayfish so i'm gonna stay now and leave you for a while because i'm going in now with my sliced egg but i want it to be done properly before adding the egg the head is gonna the egg is gonna be the last to add so i'll be right back So after adding my sliced egg, because the stew is done, so the last thing to do is to add my sliced egg. So after adding that, the stew is done. I just want that to you know cook together for like just one, two minutes and that's fine. The stew, sauce, whatever is done. So thank you guys for being part of um, Spicy Kitchen. I really appreciate and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share and comment. Your comments count a lot guys. Thank you very much. I'm really so grateful.